the first graph I want to show you isn't even technically a Google Sheets graph. It's a hack. It uses a function called repeat to make a bar chart. And it puts it in a cell, which actually is really convenient and makes a lot of other things possible. Let me show you how this works. What I have here is some made up data of the number of social media followers a person might have on several different platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. And I've counted the number of people. Now you can also do this if you have means, averages, and you put the number in there. But let's just see how we do this. I'm going to make a column called chart. And then I'm going to type in equals because I'm using a function and REPT, which stands for repeat. Now, when you use the repeat function, the first thing it wants to know is what is it going to repeat? What's it going to put in many times? And you have to put it in quotes. I'm going to do the quote and then the vertical pipe that's uh, on the US keyboard is above the return key. And then you tell it how many times you want it. And that's where I refer over to this cell. And you can see it's giving you a preview of it right there. I'm going to close the formula with the closing parenthesis, hit return. And now I've got 50 pipes. I'll adjust that that show an indication of how many people you have following you on Facebook. What's neat about this is because it's a formula, I can just drag this down like this. And now I've got it for each one of my cells. And so it's really easy to see that we've got about twice as many people here as we have here. As, and that's about twice as many as we have here. It's also really flexible. If you want to draw attention to one particular category, say for instance, you're interested in Instagram, you can just highlight that row. And for instance, you can change its color. And now you've got a bar that matches the color you've put things in. So this is a way to make it easy to find what you're looking for at focus, especially if you have a lot of different categories you're looking at. Plus, this is a flexible procedure. Let me just copy this and paste it down here. Now, what we're getting is five more pipes, but you can put anything other than pipes. So for instance, I got a little emoji here, smiley face with eyes. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back over to this. And instead of the pipe, I'm going to do smileys. And so now you got a graphic. You can use any emoji you want, positive, negative, funny ones. But it lets you get a very quick visualization, and it's a great way to start looking at your data.